Hi guys, it's Sully here from AP Tech, helping you go further and faster in YouTube. In this channel, we do um, gears review and also tips and strategies. Um, so we'll be doing a um, this Kali adapter um, OBD reader review today. Um, so this is actually, it's not a sponsored um, video. So it's just uh, me um, reviewing this Kylie app and um, see how I can tune my BMW 3 Series um, 330e. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to um, plug this in and um, I'm going to use my phone now to through the app and then see all of the features that we can do in terms of coding. So I've already done my health check on my vehicle um, and I've seen a lot of reviews where it's given almost every single review that the car has a lot of bad health. Um, my car has also got bad health. So I'm gonna show you through that as well. So I'm not gonna do a health check again. I'm just gonna do some coding and I've already done some coding already. Um, so as we started the video, you would see that um, I was welcomed with the M Performance um, logo. So this car is not M Performance. It's uh, literally uh, M Series. So um, I tend to, like, I like to tune it as much as possible. So for the first thing is to do that, plug this in, obviously the right way around. Um, so in my BMW, I've got it right here, the reader. So it's on the driver side. So that's already in. All you need to do is just put the ignition on and that's about it. Um, you don't need to do anything else. So my car's already had the health check. So I'm just gonna open the, the app and this Kali app and this app basically you will to get the the full functionality you will have to purchase and um, I'm going to leave a, um, a discount code in the description should you um, wish to purchase this app or the dongle itself so in my opinion I've already experimented a lot of things that what we can do I've changed um, the the iDrive itself to show me end performance every time it reboots so I'm just going to show you how it's done. So at the moment, the health is showing me uh, very bad, um, just like almost every single person. Um, and then you could customize in terms of coding um, the way you would like it. So at the moment, my car, I've coded only two things, which is the M Performance logo and also the wing mirrors to automatically fold out at one mile speed. So previously, it used to be up to 20 miles. So after, when you're driving 20 miles, that's when it used to auto fold out. But I would like as soon as I'm moving from stationary to um, open up. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to screen record myself. So that way you can see it on the screen. Um, so the Kylie app, as soon as you open, you'll be greeted like this. Obviously it won't have uh, the, the health information there of your vehicle. Um, so what you will do connect. So I'm going to connect now. So it's asking me to switch on your Bluetooth. So I'm just going to switch on my Bluetooth. So that's on. And then it's searching the vehicle now. Um, so what's going to happen is that as soon as it finds the vehicle, it will also look up all of the ECUs that are available in this particular vehicle. So it's located the vehicle. Now what, now what it's doing is that it has located all of the ECUs. So now it's asking me, so there's a medium faulty problem in terms of the health so earlier was bad but now has changed to medium so again um that things are these are the things that i need to check out um so in terms of most popular coding is start stop engine a lot of people they will pay just to get this start stop engine off okay i'm not interested because my car is hybrid okay um i don't have the option to turn it off anyway so i don't want to um, um, code that um, i actually enjoy the start stop but we'll go through other features where we can code so if we go down um, we are interested in coding so if we go to, down to so in here most loved coding so it's to deactivate automatic engine start stop that's just like what I just said. Um, also modify exterior lighting. So some people like to have a, um, so for example, your headlights full beam on rather than um, what the BMW recommends. Also unlock watching videos while driving. Okay, um, I've, um, I, I'm considering of doing one of those, but I don't think it's actually safe. But if you've got a, a family, like kids, for example, you could turn that on for them 
so they can watch and while you're driving so you have that peace of mind but i wouldn't suggest that for yourself but if you want to go ahead that option is available and these are the most three favorable like these are the, the most important like people tend to like um so i am going to straight away dig into coding so let's go coding so now it's going to check compatibility so what my vehicle has an offer so this again i've already checked the faults that are currently showing on my car so while this is running so i'm just going to give you overhead about the health check that i have done um so basically the vehicle has a few issues in terms of uh, air conditioning. Um, it has an uh, electric issue. It also has um, a, it, it had a service due message, as you saw in my previous video. Um, I managed to clear all of that. Um, but if I had to take this to BMW or other dealers, they would charge me minimum £120. The app cost, um, I think, £59 for all vehicles um including the discount so now this has already found all of the ecus that i am available to code so the first favorable one is dashboard so this is the area that i'm interested of coding um so we're going to look at the instrument cl cluster which is this location here okay so now first we need to read from the vehicle so when when it's reading what it's doing is that basically it's also saving a backup for you so that's quite smart um so now i'm not interested digital speedometer because i don't have a digital one um so we could if you had a digital one you could change that so you can see here it says boot logo dashboard okay and performance that's what's selected previously i had just my standard bmw okay but now i've selected that m m performance so for example if i untick that and then go back to it so now you would see so obviously you need to accept the terms and conditions okay so now what is doing that is doing it into m performance it's already m performance but because i came out from it and then i went back to it i want to reboot that so you would see on my iDrive now that it would show um bmw uh, m performance logo coming up right here so this will go blank in few seconds once it goes blank it will come back up and it will show m performance logo coming up okay so in that first combi um, section there wasn't that much um, things for me to play about with um, other than the dashboard having an end performance logo which I will show it um, in the video um, and then now in this one here FEM it's literally to do with your wing mirrors and this is what I was just um, going on about earlier how you could code it to open your wing mirrors automatically as soon as you start driving off and also um, as soon as you lock the vehicle, it automatically turns like your wing mirrors closed. Um, these functionalities are only available on certain selected vehicles. So mine, I've got a special button here where I can press and you can see the wing mirrors. I'm not sure if the camera is showing that. Uh, so the wing mirrors, they do close. And then if you press that again, the wing mirrors do open. But I want the option where as soon as I close on the remote, they close. So this is the start stop there at the top. I'm not interested in that. Um, daytime, so angel lights, um, not interested in that. Welcome light. So all of these are to do with the lights. So my welcome light is showing high. Um, I wanted it high as well. Um, so. So all of the, again, interior lightning, um, duration, how long do you want the, so as soon as you open the vehicle, how long do you want the, the light to stay on? So I've got it on 20 seconds. Um, high, so after I've 
unlocked the vehicle. So um, in here is giving me the option tilt mirror in reverse. So that's another option there that's available. And um, so when you're reversing it, you can tilt the mirror. Um, so you can turn it on and off if you would like. So I've got that automatic. So as soon as I've put a reverse on, it tilts the mirror for me. Um, I don't have comfort access. So even if I turn that on, it's not necessarily going to do anything because I know my vehicle doesn't have a comfort access for the boot. So if I have, basically, if you had a comfort access on your trunk, um, so you could put like your feet or your foot underneath uh, the boot, um, so that would open up, but I don't have that. Even if I put it on, this coding cannot be combined. You see that it's basically, it's not a possible, it's not an option for me. So... You see, you could turn your iDrive off when the door is open. Obviously, I'm not interested in that, so I'm going to leave that. You can turn, basically, your iDrive off when the door is open. Um, I'm not interested in that. So I'm going to leave that, basically. Fog light, brake, force display. I'm not interested in any of that. Reduce wiper speed. I'm not interested in that. So there's so many options here where you could play about with these coding. I would suggest you to make note of these coding just in case if you always want to go back to your original. So parking light on. So that's it. So I'm not interested that much about lightning. I've already done that. So parking distance rear view camera. So let's see what options can we get in here. Okay, so basically now what we're doing is here, um, our PDC in reverse, it shows that it's off. Um, so I'm gonna leave it basically, I don't wanna play about too much with my parking and my um, PDCs. So a PDC is just literally um, parking distance control, that's what it stands for. Um, so I'm not going to play about with that. You could change, for example, the grid, so the, the lines that it shows when you're reversing. Um, I'm not interested in that. I'm happy with the current setting. Um, welcome light, reversing light room. So this is what I was saying earlier. So when you're reversing, you could have the lights on. Um, uh, these are some options. So at the moment, all of mine are turned off. So I don't want my welcome light, which is the in, the interior one, to go on when I'm reversing. So obviously that's not something I'm interested in. Um, let's see what more can we have in here. So I'm out from that. So I'm going to go into iDrive. So this is the the part that most interests me so i'll show you the m performance logo coming up here so i've already set one on the dashboard here so now we're going to set on the iDrive i wish this app was a bit faster in terms of uh, reading the codes but again i would understand that because there's so many codes to read from and it's trying to back up and um, so the iDrive start logo um, at the moment I'm gonna go back to my original um, iDrive start logo and then go back to M performance and then I'm gonna code it. So when I code this, you would see, except you would see the iDrive, this part here, it will go off and then it will come back on with the M performance logo here. But you would hardly see that anyway. So how often do people turn off the iDrive. I don't turn off my iDrive, but it's a nice feature to see it if it does reboot itself and performance coming up. So it's just gonna take a few seconds to code that and then you'll see it rebooting the iDrive. It's nearly there. There you go. So that's turned off the iDrive. And then you will see now it's gonna come back on with 
end performance. There you go. You can see the end performance showing. Um, welcome. And I think that's quite a nice feature to have it. Okay. Um, let's see what more can we code. Video on motion, which I've already coded. You can see that they're all turned on. Um, video on with handbrake, obviously that's more appropriate. Um, video format, I'm not interested. What kind of format? Um, warning from BMW sound, yep, yep. Audio, camera, yep. Night vision, yep. Cruise control, yep. Message length while driving, one page, yep. Um, so this has uh, the option where you can text someone and I could also set my um, climate control through the BMW um, connected app, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna share that with you in a bit. So these are the options. So I've turned on few on in terms of the iDrive. In terms of um, starting eco mode, blind spot detection and all that stuff, um, I've not played about with uh, the other two ECU because I don't know much about it. So if you don't know much about it, it's best to leave it. Um, but there's no harm reading. So we're just going to read through quickly and see what options are available should you be interested in. Um, so you could basically start in Eco Pro. At the moment, it's set on um, sports mode configuration in iDrive, so which is what I have set today. So you, I've got a bot button here where you could set it here. So at the moment, it's showing sports, um, comfort, Eco Pro or Sports Plus. You could have all of these options. Okay, so I'm not interested in any of those. I'm interested in some more comfort. So I've got it more comfort. So let's go back out. Um, you've got air conditioning. You've got FZD, uh, which is to do with the anti-theft alarm system. I'm not gonna play with those information. So I'm gonna leave the last two um, so the last thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to bring the camera forward and then I'm going to show you. So let me turn this off. Now I'm going to show you here the side mirrors, how I've coded. So now you will see the side mirrors in order to close it. I could do it through here or through the remote itself. So if I hold now, because the engine is on, I could do it through literally locking. If I lock this and hold this button, it would fold these wing mirrors. But I'm not interested in that. So what we're going to do is basically, we're going to lock this. So that's locked by pressing the button. And I'm moving forward. Boom. You saw those, it unfolded itself. Okay, that's about it. Um, thank you very much for watching. Peace out.